Aloha Marine Corps Base Hawaii. I'm Lance Corporal Stacy here again to share with you this month's Hawaii Marine. Let's take a look and see what happened in this month of September. To start off, U.S. Marines participated in the Marine Wing Communication Squadron Bravo Company Activation Ceremony. The Bravo Company Marine Wing Communication Squadron is charged with planning, installing, securing, and operating a communications architecture in order to enable command and control to a Fleet Marine Force air combat element. MWCS-18 has a personnel count of 151 and will increase up to 216 in the next calendar year, doubling the lethality of aviation support within the first island chain. Welcome aboard MWCS-18. Next, Marine Corps Base Hawaii hosted a change of command ceremony for U.S. Marine Corps Forces Pacific. Lieutenant General Stephen Rudder relinquished command of MAR-4 PAC to Lieutenant General William Journey. MAR-4 PAC is the largest field command in the U.S. Department of Defense and it commands all U.S. Marine Corps forces assigned to the Indo-Pacific Command. General David Berger, Commandant of the Marine Corps, attended the ceremony in support of Marfor Pack and its commanders. Fair winds and following seas, Lieutenant General Rudder, and welcome aboard, Lieutenant General Journey. Next up, leaders from Marine Corps Base Hawaii and professional staff members visited and conducted a tour of MCBH. The purpose of the visit was to discuss how the Navy and Marine Corps are training for future conflict and complex environments. It also allowed the opportunity for a broader perspective on operations and contributions to national defense. As a reminder, every September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Now is the time to raise awareness of the stigmatized and often taboo topic. We use this month to shift public perception, spread hope, and share vital information to people affected by suicide. The goal of this month, as it should be for every month, is to ensure that individuals, friends, and families have access to the resources needed to discuss suicide prevention and to seek help. For more information, please contact or visit our Marine and Family Community Counseling Program Office. Also, this year marked the 21st anniversary of the September 11th attacks. U.S. Marines and Sailors with 3rd Marine Division conducted an 11-kilometer memorial hike on Marine Corps Base Hawaii in honor of those who lost their lives during the 9-11 attacks. Next, MCBH hosted the Advanced Rider Track Day on the Marine Corps Air Station flight line. Mr. Dylan Cody, lead riding instructor, has more information to share. The main focus of the track day is essentially to give the rider some alone time with their motorcycle. We've created a little road course out here where there is no traffic, there's nothing else to worry about, and we put the rider's attention on technique so that they can really, really closely look at what they're doing to the motorcycle and what exactly that results in. Thanks, sir. Most recently, U.S. Marines and Sailors with Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268 were welcomed home by family and friends after conducting a six-day Trans-Pacific flight. The Trans-Pac retrograde concluded a six-month deployment in support of Marine Rotational Force Darwin. Welcome home, Marines and Sailors. That concludes this month's edition of the Hawaii Marine. We hope to see you again next month Stay classy and mahalo.